Hold on, cadets. You gotta be thinking I lost my goddamn marbles, right? Well, you're half right. You are half right. I lost half of my goddamn marbles right now. Late night stream, I wanted to do something extreme. Alright, I wanted to do something so fucking outlandish. That, uh, people would call me crazy. And, like, I realized my mouth's not moving. Hold on. Lip sync. There we go. So I wanted to do something so fucking outlandish that people think I was crazy. Y'all probably already think I'm crazy anyways. But. But. I'm doing it anyways. Here today, I am planning to fix the Yu-Gi-Oh! fan list. Now, this is something that I thought I would, I would admit is so freaking crazy that I thought I would never do, right? So, before we do this, we need to go to yugiocard.com. dot com and what we're gonna do is look at the current ban list yeast yeast united states now what we're gonna do is go to play a limited forbidden list now how are we gonna do this how are we gonna fix this well we're gonna create our own ban list yes i'm accepting all cookies god damn it so what we need to do is take into fact what cards are so outdated and which ones deserve to still be on and off the ban list. Right now, like, I'm going to end up texting a friend. And hopefully he'll join us on live stream. It's other than it's not other than Joey, so we're gonna see if we can get Joey here. Hey Joey, I'm gonna do something outlandish. How about we try to fix the Yu-Gi-Oh ban list through a ban list builder? I'm live streaming right now. You think you can get on Discord? Yeah, because I can't do this one alone. So, I want Joey here. Right? I want Joey here to help me do this right. I'll try to call him. Hold on, on, on Discord. Well, I'll try to get him back here on Discord in a minute. But no, I want to fix this issue. Like, the ban list is so freaking atrocious. And, and like, I want to do my best to fix it. Now, me and Joey, we're, like, really, really big Yu-Gi-Oh! nuts. So there's a couple of things I want to mention that are out of date right now. One of them, believe it or not, is Fiber Jar. So we're going to copy the name of Fiber Jar. Paste. And we're going to put Fiber Jar, believe it or not, on Semi Limited. Now, Fiber Jar back in the day was considered one of the most OP. Flip monsters in the game. One of the strongest flip monsters. And 
It is literal dog shit these days. It's got to be one of the biggest dog shit cards of all time to play in the current game. Now, a lot of people probably have, like, issues with this. But I'm going to have to say Victory Dragon. Victory Dragon off the ban list. Oh, he answered back. He said give him about seven minutes. So we're going to put Victory Dragon at limited. Like nobody has Victory Dragon anymore. It was a Shonen Jumps card. It never came back out. It has never been re-released. So those along with Max C. We're going to bring back Max C. Like, I feel like it's about time Maxi got off it, off of it. So we're gonna move it to semi limited. Now we're gonna choose like three E or four of the extra deck cards. This is just my overall personal thoughts of what should be taken out. And like right now, like I will admit, Heavy Metal Foes Electromite. Like, hardly anybody has this anymore. And nobody plays Pendulums because of it. We're going to bring this back at two. We're, uh, also, like, Link Karibo has been hit for a good reason. But I feel like nobody has... Preta Plant Verticonde. Like, if you do, like, congrats to all y'all. Like, y'all have been waiting for this thing to get off the ban list. And so, am, so have I, you know, like. So, we're going to bring this to limited. Like, to one. Just to one. I know that's a hot take. But right now, Union Carrier. We're gonna bring this to one. Because there's gonna be like some new XYZ seeds, XYZ Dragon Cannon cards coming out. Like that's gonna have to come off the ban list one way or another. I will admit Tempest Magician has, is kinda OP. Do I think it needs to still be on the ban list? Uh, yes. Chaos Ruler Dragon definitely belongs there. Borrowed Savage, Bonus to Floor, or like. Because, like, these three cards right here can easily be put in an Evil Eyes deck. I feel like it wouldn't be right to take these off the ban list. But there is an Exceeds Monster, and I think is well overdue to get off the ban list, okay? Like, what was it again? Oh, right. Number 95, Dark Eyes Matter Dragon. Like, barely anybody has this card anymore. So, we're going to move this to limited. Now, oh, spell cards, right? Which ones should come off? Ooh. Heavy Storm. I believe Heavy Storm needs to come off the ban list. It's been on there for like ever. And Heavy Storm comes back to one. Now, oh. There is one more card I want to bring back. Like, sure, the like price for 800 life points is... Premature. Like, it's too free, but guess what? We got Monster Reborn. Why not bring back Premature Burial? To two. 
We're gonna have to choose like one or two trap cards. Let's see if Joey's back online. Is he online? No, he's not online. We're still waiting for him. Like, so I'm gonna do one trap card. It's a hot take. Ultimate offering. But it's going to need an errata to like how many times you can like summon. We'll leave it at one. Like let's increase the life point cost to 1500 for like every time you normal summon a monster. You do an extra normal summon, obviously, like, it's going to cost you an extra thousand amongst the 500. Next, I want to bring up the Exodia stuff that came up, you know, like, it's pretty big, it's pretty popular, you know, all that kind of stuff. Like, we're not going to make Exodia more than, like, one. Astrograph Sorcerer, like... Okay, I can. Uh, I'm okay with that. What I do want to see come off of the limited, though, might be a bit of a hut thing. I don't know. Like, I was thinking about this, and like, maybe not, because like. Okay, we have the six gold sarcophagus, harpy's predator, party launcher, instant fusion, the void, midbreaker, monster gate, monster reborn, one day of peace, one of one, reasoning, reinforcements of the army, second slight, rotation. Uh, no, I think that's pretty fair. I think that's all pretty fair. Um, this is what is like semi limited. No, I think, like, everything here is pretty stable, I want to say. Like, everything here is pretty stable. I'm not going to lie. I actually like it. But, right now, what we're going to do is focus adding new cards. Now there's a couple of cards I actually feel like that are pretty good to hit. So first we're gonna go with type. Wait, 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 no, sorry. Monster. We're gonna go with We're gonna start off. I think we're gonna like a lot of effect monsters really don't affect the game all that much. So what we need to focus on is the extra deck stuff, right? So, subtype. We're gonna start off with any aquas. Like, I know there's gonna be some, on um, like, monster. Effect. Monsters, okay. So what I want to do is look at each and every like one of these cards. I feel like this one needs to be limited. Like this one right here, tier elements root gills. You don't see tier elements play much anymore, but when you do error box improvements. 16 minutes ago. Oh, okay, yeah. So, like, with tier elements, it's kind of like a tier. Nobody really plays them anymore, but when they're out there, like, you're, you're gonna cry. Like, you're gonna cry when, like, somebody busts out a tier element. So, is there anything in, like, this I'm gonna have to hit? I mean, the Cherry of Natrio, isn't that already hit? Not really necessary these days. Mm 
Nobody plays that card in Runic Monsters. Like, I realize that nobody plays that. Maybe it's just too difficult to summon. But I will have to say... I would say the Phantom Beast, but that'd be too hard. I really don't see any, like, Phantom Beast that need to be hit. Or any Beast Monster. So we're going to have Beast Warrior. Like, there's not very many cards in Beast Warriors that are used these days. So I think this is okay. We're going to go into uh, Cybers. Not very many Cybers fusions. I will admit. Those are pretty stable. Uh, Dinosaur? Dynamorphia is interesting. It's not a problem. But it's an interesting concept to think about that some people on a rare occasion play Dynamorphia, but they're not really that uh, dangerous. Uh, dragon. Oh, we're getting into the big leagues now, dragons. Yeah, I can hear all the Blue Eyes player going, ah, ah. Don't hit my blue eyes! Like, no worry, fans. I got you. Like, I'm not gonna hit your blue eyes. But I am gonna hit something that I can put be played with blue eyes under the right circumstances. And I can hear them screaming in their heads right now when this thing hits YouTube. They're like, don't you dare. I'm going to be that guy and say, oh, I dare. I freaking dare. All right? I'm going to do it. Hold on, like, light and judgment dragon, what does it do? All right, so that's the new uh, thing. No... Like, I do want to hit a dragon, but I don't know which one. Cast in that respect. I mean, each one of the Albion dragons are, like, really powerful. But which one do I see the most get played? Which one mostly gets played by Albion users? It's actually this guy. So we're going to move him to Forbidden. I want to see this guy forbidden just because, like, he's such a pain to work against or battle against. Like, fairies. Oh, wait a minute. Like, no, this needs to come back. I will admit. We're going to put this at two. I mean, at one because, like, that thing, when it was hit, it was hit at the time when, like, the set was very good. It's not very good anymore. It, it is not very good anymore. So, move fairies. I'm gonna go into fiends. So, Ariel Aether was just uh, turned into a fusion monster. It was always a normal monster, I will admit. But there is a fiend type that I am sick and tired of dealing with. And it is kind of OP, I'm not gonna lie. Like, there is one Fiend Fusion, I think. And, yeah. Like, y'all are never gonna believe it, but at times I see this and I'm thinking to myself, why is this thing not hit? Masquerade of the Blazing Dragon. I think is a good hit. Moving on from Fiend, like, we're gonna hit one of every one of the biggest cards in the game. Wow, that, that is the only fish fusion. Yeah, that's Fiend. Illusion. Oh, yeah, no, like, 
Something's got to be hit with illusion, and it's Chimera Beast illusion. Like, this thing, I'm really tired of fighting illusion monsters. They are an illusion to fix the game, in general. Insects are not that much of a problem. I can handle insects any day of the week. Okay. This is what I wanted to see. So there is one machine I'm gonna see get hit. And it's quite the weird one. Cause y'all will probably think there's no way this will never be hit. Oh yeah. Yes, please do. Joey, hit that Discord. Please do so, yes. We're about to get Joey on board. Hold on, folks. He's my D&D &D brother and my Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh brother from another mother, okay? Like, okay, he's on board, yeah. Hey, you're muted. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're unmuted now. Okay. So, Joey! Hey, hold on, like, let me do something so, like, your voice doesn't bleed into the stream with my headphones set. Okay. Okay. All right, so say something. Hey. Okay, you yeah, you, you can be heard. Okay, good. I'm going with Streamlabs now, Joey. I'm like, this thing's a god dang lifesaver. All right, let's go into this. So, so far, I've hit a couple of cards that were already on the ban list in Limited Forbidden and, like, made the, um, up the date so far. I want your thoughts on this. All right? Uh... I don't know if I can give an accurate, uh... Well, just hear me out. About this. Okay, yeah, but I understand. But let's see here. We got Fiber Jar at two. Uh, Max C. Heavy Metals Electromite. And Premature Burial. As each and every one of these cards are on the Forbidden list, and I thought, like, those being at two would be pretty good. Your thoughts? I don't know, since I would not run them. Well, I thought you would, like, run Fiber Jar, because, like, you're, you're, you're the GOAT for, like, shutdown decks or just trolling people. Well, it was, like, not a flip effect, yes. I, I'm yeah. I'm really highly a fan of flip effect monsters. But, uh, at Limited, we have Victory Dragon that was forbidden, because, like, nobody has it. When it came out, it was... A Shonen Jumps card, and it's only been a Shonen Jumps card when it was released. So it's at one. We have Predaplant Verticonde at one. What? I think Victory Dragon. I think Victory Dragon should be at three. I know that's a little bit much, but I'm gonna go out there and say that. All right. Yeah. No, I kind of agree with that, but let's put it at two then. Like, let's meet in the or middle and put it at two. Because there are a decent amount of cards that exist that could easily keep it from being the final attack to do damage. Uh, that is true. All right. So, Pretty Plant Verticonda A at one. What do you think? Uh, I don't know. Oh, that, yeah. We should put, yeah, that uh, probably at one. Yeah, because, like, it's been on the ban list, and, like, a lot of fusion decks need a helping hand. And there's new uh, I XYZ Dragon Cannon Kaiba support coming out soon, and Union Carrier at one. I was kind of confused as to why people stopped running that uh, Predator Plant monster. I just all of a sudden just saw it wiped off the map. <laughs> uh, yeah, it got banned, and I'm just worthy, I feel, just a bit. 
I mean, sure, the effect could use to errata like maybe like 2,500 life points or 3,000 for a re release. But it's still got a heavy price for the fusion summon, anyways. But, uh, Union yeah. Carrier. Uh, what? Uh, I was gonna say, people used to summon Red Eyes Dragoon a lot with that. That, yeah, okay. and we're going to hit Red Eyes Dark Dragoon and put it at 1 as well. Oh, I don't mind Dragoon. I think it should be where it is currently. Well, yeah, but, uh, you know, like, there's got to be stability between Ver the Conde and, like, Dragoon. As if we don't do that, like, there's going to be a unstable old stability with all that kind of stuff. So, but Union Carrier, I was thinking like Union Carrier at one because of like of all the new Kaiba XYZ Dragon Cat and Catapult old support we're going to be getting in a set later on this year or next year. As we're also going to get an enemy controller fusion that kind of goes with it. So, Union Carrier at one, your thoughts? Uh, I get well. I would say probably two because like there are some machine decks that don't really have heavy support. Yeah, fair enough. I'm not gonna disagree with that. Number ninety five, Galaxy Eyes, Dark Matter Dragon. I'm kind of shocked that you didn't put self destruct buttons up there. I real like I don't like self destruct button, but at the same time, uh, uh, like it's easily counterable these days. Under the right circumstances, I get that, but at the same time, it's still like an OTK machine. You hate it mostly because it like can ch cause a lot of draws. Is that why you hate it? Like draws are the pussy way out of a duel. <laughs> See, I would, I would think that that would be more noble than people just saying scoop next round. Yeah. So, I, I, um, think, I, think, I think, I think scooping is more of a pussy way out. They both are. So, uh, number ninety-five, Galaxy Eyes, Dark Matter Dragon, at one. Uh, -huh. uh what's your thoughts on that one? Uh. I don't know because I haven't faced it in a lot. I've only faced it in rare circumstances. And Heavy Storm at one. It's about to get a reprint and the next, like, rarity collection. That's going to be coming out next year. So I was thinking, like, Heavy Storm at one. Well, I think if they uh, banned Harpy's Feather Duster, they should bring Heavy Storm at two. Uh, well, I think, like, Heavy Storm and Harpy's Feather Duster back in the game is actually a pretty good idea. Well, I think that the, the reason why I say that is because I think, because Heavy Storm Duster, depending on how late the game is, sometimes is a double-edged sword. Uh, yeah, but Heavy Storm's more like a brick these days anyways. Yeah, I know. That's, that's also why I said it should be a two because it has more drawbacks than have than a harpy's feather duster yeah i'm not gonna argue with that one like um it's ultimate offering now hear me out on this one like we increase the amount of life points it takes to do an extra normal summon by at least by a thousand what do you think Yeah, if it's a thousand per summon, I think that's okay. But then at that point, they might bring back a uh, soul recharge or whatever that card was, the normal spell. Yeah, but ultimate offering, like you gotta wait a turn before activating the trap card. Well, the so it's that slower. Is you, can during, you, you can do it during your opponent's turn, I think. Uh, yeah, you can, but to activate it in the first place, you gotta wait a turn. After you place it face down, it's a trap card. I think if you said like a thousand five hundred, 
Pretty yeah, that's what I meant. Like 1,500 life points to summon. Increase oh, yeah, it by a yeah. thousand more. Yeah. Yeah. As I think that'd be a good idea. And then uh, tier elements, Raukios. Is one that's never been hit, but I thought it was a good idea. Uh, this one's been banned for a, for a while. Gym Knight, Sapphire Knight. And I was thinking, like, remove it off the ban list. Uh, let me see what it does. Must oh, be fusion oh, summoned with the fusion materials during your main phase, during your normal summon, or, or set one monster in addition to your normal summon. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. So, this thing's been banned for a while, and it needs to come back at one, I think. Like, I don't think there's any machine monsters anyone that really needs to be banned. Like, I thought there was at one time. Oh, wait a minute. No, I got it. Like, you don't see it played anymore, but... Like, sorry for Dark in uh, level 12. Any thoughts on that one? Uh, let me read that stuff back. Um, Go back to it so I can read yeah, it. Uh, must be a fusion summon or either special summon by treating a level 10 cyber dark fusion monster with cyber end dragon and equipped to it unaffected by your opponent's effects during your opponent's turn. Equip one monster from either player's graveyard and this card can attack a number of times each time, each phase up to the number of equipped cards equipped to it. Uh, well, you skipped the part where it said activated effects. Oh, right. Sorry. Activated effects. Yeah. yeah. Because, what, like, uh, well, is it banned right now? No, it's not. Is that three right now? Yeah, it's at three. Are you trying to get it limited or banned or something? Like, I'm doing a list to fix the ban list because, like, everyone's doing it. Like, what are, I'm saying, like, what are you wanting it limited or outright banned or what is it? Uh, forbidden. For? Uh, I'd probably go with bullying. Hmm. Because, because, like. Okay, uh, I can see your argument there. Or better yet, no, wait a minute. A fusion monster is more splashable. I think, like, Chimera Tech Over Dragon Band. Uh, allow me to read the effect. Uh, must be fusion summoned. If this card is fusion summoned, send all the cards you control to the graveyard. The original attack and defense comes I equal. What? I know what that one does. I face them a lot. Uh, yeah, so what do you think? Because, well, like... I think it should be banned, but I also would make the argument that if it's banned, a lot of Cyber Dragon players would just not play. Well, with, like, the uh, Gear Gold, with, like, the Ancient Gears, they got that Ancient, uh, ge they got that Gear Continuous spell that turns all monsters into machine monsters, right? Yeah. Activate Super Poly. Have that continuous spell on the field. All machine monsters, right? Fused into yeah. this. Is literally an OTK. Yeah. Like, it wouldn't be very mu very fun now, would it? Well, like, like I said, I think you should ban it, but I do think if you do ban it, you're going to run into the problem of a lot of people who run Cyber Dragons not using Cyber Dragon decks anymore. Well, I mean, yeah, not a lot of people use Cyber Dragons anymore. Oh, you'd be amazed when I, like, uh, well, in big events, you'd be amazed, because I see a whole bunch of people at regionals and stuff using it. At locals, there's not a lot of people, but, like, if you go to the big-time tournaments, there's quite a number of people. Predator Plants, like, okay, this is going to be a hot take, but Predator Plant, Dragostelopedia, Forbidden. Uh, yeah, I think that one should be bidden, forbidden. Yeah, me too. One, 
that one's too easy. See, I would disagree with the uh, uh, other one that you put, Dan. This like, one? Like, there's a, uh, I forget, it's next to is the uh, Predator Plant Dragon. Oh, oh, Chimera Tech Overdragon? Yeah, like, like, well, there's a yes and no with that. Because, like, I think you would, like... <laughs> I think there's a good number of people who would like stop using the deck they currently use if that was like not be able to be played because it would make their deck basically uh unplayable. Yeah. For key plays. Like I don't like, think, I think there's any be... psychic monsters that need to be hit, right? I think it should be limited but not banned. Um because like like uh well hold on first, like i just moved it the ban okay i mean limited limited but um anyways like psychic monsters your thoughts on any of them that need to be hit right now in the fusion department uh i haven't faced a lot of psychic monsters so i don't know yeah, neither have I. Like, nobody plays Psychic. It's kind of like the Illusion archetype. It's an illusion to fix the problem. Yeah, it's like a, basically a 1% player <laughs> sort of played thing. Yeah. Um, I haven't faced a lot of Psychic stuff. Except for maybe Psychic Rover. But nobody cares about that card. Yeah, Pyro. Oh, this is going to be a hot tank. That's not even out yet, is it? No, I don't think that's out yet, so we shouldn't, like, we shouldn't hit cards that just came out or, like, haven't even come out yet. Like, I want to be reasonable like that. Yeah, yeah, because we have to give them time to, like, see how things play out. Exactly. Like, Reptile, maybe? I don't think anybody plays these cards in the fusion pile. All right, we're gonna go. Just, uh, what? Despite what you think, and despite what you think, I want you to be kind of degenerate and move the self-destruct buttons from banned to uh, not limited at all. No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I think you should. I think you should just make the whole fan. Oh wait a minute! Like no, I will do this though. Gym Knight Master Diamond. Semi limited, cause like this thing's uh limited, right? Yeah, it is. So having it at two, I think it'd be a good idea for Jim Knights to come back. Yeah, all those cards that you have up there, I don't even use. So like, I, well, for me, I feel like I'm answering questions that don't apply to me. Well, yeah, but uh, like you're the only Yu-Gi-Oh guy I have on call, so. Like, I don't know how to give, like, a fair answer because, like, the ones you're listing don't really apply to what I would play or what I wouldn't play. Well, you are the shutdown duelist at our locals. So you would know, like, cards that would, like, be really bad. Is what I'm saying. Well, it's more, it's more like, probably cards that are really bad against me, per se. Not, like, overall. But, like, I, I, I don't know what other people struggle with. I just know what I struggle with. So, much like Predator Plant for Deconda is at one, we're going to put Red Eyes Dark Dragoon at one. Uh, just, to, like a lot of just to even it out, uh, it has stability with Predaconda and Dragoon. Like, because a lot of people out there, believe it or not, cadets, a lot of people out there and Joey between Verte Anaconda and Dragoon, if they're not both limited, like, people are gonna be busting them out like birth to A parties. Like it was Christmas every day. Well, Dragoon's not that big of a threat. You might disagree, but I, but I think... It's Dude, I'm the Dark Magician guy. Like, I know how dangerous this thing is. I know how dangerous it is. Under the right build, this thing can destroy worlds. Sir, I back him slap that dragoon more than anybody can count. <laughs> yeah, I think like half the guys at our locals would disagree with you on that one. Well, 
you can ask half the guys, and they'll say, yeah, I've returned it to the deck. I've shut down its effect. I've tributed it over with smear mode. I've done, li like, basically spit on it. I've just, like, basically laughed and spit on the card. Yeah. I mean, you really have, but at the same time, like, it's still a really there's powerful like, there's monster. Several there's several times where I've actually hijacked control of it permanently. I know, right? Like, you did that once against me, and, like, I was so surprised. I did that to one player, uh, when it first came out, and he said, <laughs> he gave me the middle finger and, uh, said, I'm not continuing this duel, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> what a pussy! <laughs> yeah, I had judging to his, uh, dragoon. And I said, he said, what did I do? After flipping the coin, I was like, uh, gimme. And he was like, nope, I, I quit. Bye. And then he gave me the finger. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out, like, a warrior monster that needs to be banned. Yeah. Or limited. Right. Oh, wait a minute. No, like, forbid a warrior from the Forbidden Planet Limited. See, I think Dragoon is only a problem for other players, but not for me. Yeah. But I know how dangerous Dragoon is, so, like, and we, if we're taking Anaconda at one, like, it would become more dangerous. I think if you said overall players as a problem, I would say yes. But no, if we're taking, think about it this way, if we're Anaconda came back to one, all right, and if Dragoon was still at three, there would be a huge overall amount of players Running three dragoons, probably two Phoenix Enforcers, and Predaplan Verticonda in their builds. That would not only be bad for, like, all builds because people would be bricking left and right, but under the right circumstances, like, it would end up just destroying all the fun in the game. Well, I think for other people, I don't really care. Yeah, well, like, I'm speaking from experience. Like, I think if you said combo deck players, that would be more broad with your, uh... Well, it would be under, like, all players. Like, everyone would be running Dragoon and Phoenix Enforcers back in their I builds. Know, no, I mean, as far as, I mean, as far as who can't deal with it. Yeah, and we're gonna uh, put like Phoenix Enforcer, uh, Destiny Hero Phoenix Enforcer at, I think, two for this. I, I I think you think Dragoon can beat all decks, and that's like not that's not a reasonable statement. No, I don't think it can beat all decks. I know it's a problem for most decks. Under the right circumstances, with the right strategies, with the right plays, with the right cards, with the right right right, it can end up yeah. fucking people over. Yeah, and that's funny. And we need stability. See, we need person. stability. We need instability. I'm the worst person to ask this stuff. <laughs> I don't think you've come to that realization. Well, like you're a Yu-Gi-Oh guy, like, like me, and you're the only one I have on call. Yeah, I like things when when things are uh, like basically chaotic. <laughs> okay, so like Wings of Garuda. This thing can be bust out with instant, uh, I mean, uh, with like so many like spell cards without the fusion price, right? Banned. This is a level Wait, six. You think that card should be banned? What? You think that card should be banned? Yeah, because like it's easily summoned out with so many different cards. For just a plus one, you think that should be banned? It's not the effect that matters. It's how it's easily summoned out. And then you can combo it with its effect. Oh, yeah, for the double damage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, overall, I think it should be hit like that. Because, like, it's easily I'm summoned only, out. I'm only... I was only reading the part where the player draws one card if it goes to grave. Yeah, because, like, the card is easily summoned out. You get the draw card once it's summoned out, no matter what. And then you can do the double damage. But most people use it for summoning fodder and the drawing effect. 
So that's it for that. So we're going to look into, like, I don't think there's any, like, rituals that really need to be hit. But synchros is another issue. As I feel like there's a couple of synchros that do need to be hit right off the top of my head. Like, right off the top of my head. I just literally whacked my head a couple of times for that. Make a point. So, there is, like, one that I know that is really powerful, and it's a TGE card. Because it's easily splashable. And the effect, the effect is so OP. I want to bring up a point because I just thought this was like just now seeing what you put on semi limited and limited. I thought this was kind of hypocritical, but uh, so wait, how is Dragoon at one and the Phoenix Enforcer at two? Seeing so it's like okay, so and like Dragoon is more powerful than Phoenix Enforcer with its negate effect and its double destruction effect. And being immune to being destroyed by card effects. I just, I just feel like like the Phoenix Enforcer can do away with a lot more. Uh, well, you see, like time. with Phoenix Enforcer, let me read the effect. Monsters your opponent control lose 200 attack for each hero monster in your graveyard. You can only use the, each of these following effects of Destiny Hero Phoenix... I mean, destroy your Phoenix Enforcer once per turn. You can destroy a both one card and one card on the field with this with the first effect. The second effect is you can activate this effect to special summon one Destiny Hero monster from your graveyard on your next standby uh, on your next turn. So, like. Overall, destruction effect, it is good, but it's like you destroy one of yours or possibly a one of your opponents or one of yours in the process. That's well, not a big deal. Choose, they could just choose to destroy a Phoenix Enforcer and spam that every single turn. And so, like... And it's uh, no, it's a once per turn. You can only e use yeah. each one of these yeah. following effects of Destiny Hero Phoenix said. Enforcer once per turn. That's literally what I said. Yeah. Like, they can do it on their turn and your turn, and they can keep that, repeating that process. Uh, yeah, but here's the thing. The effect can easily be negated. Dark Bribe. Obviously, the spell card Dark can Bribe. easily be negated by just about any... Dark Bribe can't negate that. Dark Bribe negates... That's right. Well, like, you run all those negate cards, you, you name off all the negate cards that can negate this card's effect then. Uh, right now, I can only name Skill Drain. There's Skill Drain, oh, there's yeah. that, um, there's that one that negates all level 6 or a higher, like, monster effects. That is your Continuous Trap card. Let's there's see a, here. Uh, what? Yeah, you mean, uh, Greater the Super Ancient Organism? Yeah. Let's see here. You also got, like, uh... Yeah, this stuff is, like... 50 shot. Yeah, but you have so many. You basically have almost two to three of each and every one of those cards in your deck, man. I only have two. The only thing I have three of is skill drain. Everything else is at two. Yeah, exactly what I'm saying. You got so many cards that can negate this monster's effects. It's insane. And all those are at three. Hell, no, they're not all at three. They're at two. Skill Drain is the only one I have at three. No, I mean on the ban list. On the ban list. Yeah, but like that doesn't apply to me. No, but I'm just saying like all the cards you run in your deck are not banned and they negate all of this monster's effects. There's so many cards to negate the card's effects in the game. It's kind of freaking redundant if it can't stop card effects itself. And does not have protection against them. I would also state that like most players don't play the stuff I play, and so there's that too. With the, the, uh, yeah, the but system. they run other negate cards as well. Other floodgate cards is what they call them. Yeah, they run like Solemn Strike and other stuff. Yeah, so like, oh, here it is. 
So this is TTE Grave Blaster. This was the newest one that came out like a couple of sets ago. Oh, cadets. I want to touch upon this one because like, hold on, let me go back to it. So, must be Synchro Summoned. The only way you can summon this is one tuner synchro monster and two non-tuner synchro monsters this thing could be busted out so easily now with a uh, thunder shrimp i think it was or thunder shrimpy uh, along with like the new support that came out for that uh that all came out in the exodia set uh i forget what that uh, one spellcaster synchro is that's like a level nine or ten that literally just summons out like the uh, Synchro O Tuner Monster from the extra deck or anywhere that everyone was after. So, yeah, this card like takes one Tuner Synchro and two non Tuner Synchro Monsters. Between that of the non Tuner Synchro Monster and just about any other Synchro Monsters, this card can easily be busted out. Let's read the effect. Quick effect, if you can target one monster on the field, special summon from the extra deck, banish it. You can use the number of the effect of this card up to the number of non-tuner synchro monsters used as a material for this card. Once per turn, if a monster is banished face up during the damage step, you can target one of them. Special summon it to your field, ignoring its summoning conditions. So, like, you can target a monster as a quick effect during the battle phase with this card. Banish it. Then summon it to your field, which one of them is the most strongest. And I'm thinking, like, this card's so easily splashable. The effect's really powerful. Nobody runs it. It can easily be summoned these days. And something's got to be done before, like, somebody jumps on this. Any thoughts? Uh, I don't know. On that particular card, I don't know. Well, I would put it at, like, one. Simply because, like, how powerful the effect will be once people realize that how easy it is to summon out now. I, I'm just going to put at one because like how easily it can be summoned now. There's no easy Wait, way to put that. Put, you actually put, I'm surprised you put Victory Dragon at Unlimited. Yeah, you said three, right? Yeah, but I was being sarcastic. I, 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 but like semi limited would be more reasonable. Okay, fair enough. Stop trolling me like that, man. We're trying to be serious here. Now there is another synchro I want to hit, as I feel like it's going to be needed because it's a really powerful synchro. But it goes to the Black Wings. And I can hear the Black Wing players screaming out, Don't hit my Black Wings! Like, screw you, I'm going to hit your Black Wings. Black Wing Fully Armored Master. That's the one I knew you were going to hit. Yeah, I know, right? We're, we're going to move this to ban. Just straight up ban it. Yeah, you... Uh... We're going to also move uh, the normal monster Dark Magician to ban. No. <laughs> it doesn't like, need to be uh, banned. It's a fine, brick. We'll just use all... Fine, we'll just, we'll just ban all the monsters that count their names as Dark Magician. Dude, they're basically all bricks these days. Even I can mention that. Cosmic Blair Dragon will also be limited. And we will move Synchro O Crystal Wing Dragon to semi limited. As I feel like that card's really powerful and nobody plays it anymore, but it can still be easily done with all the new Synchro support. And 
And I think that's all, like, the synchro stuff that needs to be hit. Like, I truly believe that's all that needs to be hit right now. But I want to double check, just in case. Oh, ho, ho, wait a minute. I almost forgot one. What? No, nah, like, there's there's that one level nine ice barrier. Uh, there it is. So this one's easily summonable as well. Like, it can be splashed in any water deck. The effects are really powerful. It's supposed to benefit ice barriers, but it can benefit just basically any water deck. Allow me to reminisce you the card's effects. Uh, to summon this, you oh, need one... What? I know what that one does. Yeah. So, do you think this should be banned or limited? Like, realistically, I think it should be semi-limited. Semi-limited? Alright, I'll take your feedback on that one. Like, I would say limited, but semi-limited. Yeah, I think it's okay. Because I, cause I don't think it'll always be a busted card. I think it's just a, an occasionally busted card. Yeah. Like, I'm going to keep going down the synchro list. Let's see if anything that really needs to be hit. Oh, wait a minute. Everyone, I've seen this card played in, like, Duel Links. And, like, I just started playing Duel Links again. I mean, not Duel Links, but Master Duel, uh, Psychic, and Punisher. Oh, under the right circumstances, this card's a nightmare. We're going to put this at Limited. Okay. Like, under the right circumstances, with a good enough deck, this card can literally just, like, end your entire existence. And another hot take. Like, where is it? Hold on. Like, I want to hit some of the Archfiend Arch archetype, because I think it's necessary, if not totally necessary. As, um, yeah, the Red Arch Fiend archetype, like, it's been around for a while, but there's one that I want to hit in particular. As I, I can literally hear the Jack Atlas fans screaming out in agony when I say that. <laughs> like, now I can hear all the Jack Atlas synths out there in the spectrum going like don't do it i can while hear them on the extra deck while we're on the extra deck i think i should get some extra hatred i just think all the cards in the extra deck should be banned and that's why you're not in charge of the channel like this i don't know because i because the fan base would go nuts if i was in charge Exactly. Exactly. Like, realistically, I don't play an extra deck. No, you do not. I will admit, I will admit that you do not play the extra deck. The extra deck is not for you. Okay. But we're going to be hitting okay. the spell and traps as well. You're not going to be hitting spells and traps. Oh, yes, I am. Well, actually, I'm okay with that, because you'll probably be hitting some that don't apply to me. Like, where's that level? Ah, here it is. No, nah, this guy's got to be banned. Wait a minute, is that the one with the shutdown effect? No, it's not. That's the level 10 I'm thinking about. I think the supernova is the one that, uh, that uh, has a quick effect. Wait, no. Yeah, that one. That one's funny. <laughs> yeah, no, like, it's super unfair to fight and, like, in a duel, and it needs to be banned. Oh, I thought you were talking about the hot red dragon archfiend. Abyss? No, like, red heart dragon archfiend bane. 
Does it gain attack when it destroys monsters by battle? No. Um, you can tribute one red dragon archery monster in your graveyard, special sum, and it when it inflicts battle damage to your opponent. You can special summon two monsters with the same level, all from your deck and from your graveyard in defense position. That's not the one with the shutdown effect. Like, hold on, like I'm trying to figure out which one has the shutdown effect. You mean the one that negates uh, face-up cards? Like everything, yeah. Here it is. It's the level twelve. Yeah. Yeah. No, like red dragon archfiend calamity. Like that thing's gotta go. Like that thing's gotta go. <laughs> I mean, that's not and like it's so easy to summon, and it's like with the crimson dragon as well. Like it's even easier to summon. So like, no, nah, that thing's gotta go. Gotta be banned. Okay, so we're done with the Sankros. Like, I know with Exceeds, there's no real big Exceeds monsters that gotta be hit. But, uh, barely anybody plays Pendulum, but we're gonna go in the Link. So, there is a couple of Links that I think that should be banned, and even more, like, limited and semi-limited. For instance, Access Code Talker Limited. Your thoughts on that one? Uh, yeah, I, I would agree with that. Yeah. Now, I do not want to hit the Charmers, but what I am going to hit, semi-limited because of the new Samurai support, Battle Shogun of the Six Samurai. And if we're going to have Obviously, a literal might at two. Let's put a literal might at one. And what we're gonna do? We're gonna put beyond the pendulum at one. Like because if that's at two, and we also have beyond the pendulum at three, like pendulum monsters are gonna go wild. I think Borland Dragon needs to be banned. Level five Link Dragon. Probably a really fucking hot take, but I'll take it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so let's see here. There's another one I want to hit that's a level four, a link four. But it's really hard to special summon anyways, cadets. So I think we're going to leave it be. But what I will mention is there's one card that I think, like, really does deserve just to be bad because it's just such a horrible card. Five-headed Link Dragon, just ban it out of just, like, memes, out of walls. <laughs> like, it's such a bad card, it might as well just be banned because of its effect being so bad. I think you should hate on it that much. I think we should just for I the memes. Like, look, you're the one that said we should take this seriously. Yeah, I know, but at the same time, we gotta have a little bit of comedy, my friend. Oh! Guard Dragon Auger Pain. Oh, I forgot about this yeah. card. Yeah, this thing's been banned for a while. You cannot special summon except dragon monsters from your main deck. You can only special summon dragon monsters from your extra deck or extra monster zone in the main monster zones. Okay. I want the heat for this. We're going to put this at one. I'll take that heat. We'll put that at one. And we're going to put, and we're going to put self destruct button at three. No. We are going to hit Infinite Track Mega Fortress Apocalypse into the band, though. Wait a minute. No, that's not the Link 1. We need to go for the Link 1. Gilgarth.
And wait a minute, isn't there a synchro link mon I mean a link monster that helps with synchros? It's a link two, I think. Hold on, like we're gonna hit two. Alright, let's start searching for it. What? I said at ten thirty I'm gonna have to go to bed because of work. Okay, fair enough. Like Joey's gonna have the clock out soon, everyone. Like, he's got a day job. I don't. Chris Real and Hyperfax, we're gonna put at one. I really hate its name, too. Like, why didn't we stick with the original name? I have no idea. I miss Harpy's brother. Same. We're gonna put a uh, Nightmare Phoenix at one. And I don't think technically there's any other Link monsters we really need to touch. There could be any problems in the game. SP Little Knight doesn't need to be hit yet. I will mention that. Like, it's okay. Um. We'll hit this though. Sprite Sprint. Ban that. Just get it out of here. I hate sprites. Simply because I hate the sprite cards, that thing's gonna get banned. Out of spite. <laughs> out of spite, yeah. The sprite spr sprite out of spite. That's not being a good duelist. That's being a vindictive duelist. Yeah, well... I can have hot tight aches every once in a while. Like, I don't know any spell cards that really need to be hit. But I do know one that possibly needs to come off the ban list. Nobody has it anymore. Nobody plays it. Bring it back. What? Metamorphosis. Bring it I'm back to one. Your mindset is, I'm guessing your mindset is summoning mechanics make the game. No, like this card, like nobody has it anymore. Nobody has it in their collection. Nobody owns it. It's basically non-existent. Nobody collects this card anymore, so nobody's going to care if it comes back. Most of the first gen people have it. Mostly just them. Yeah, but then, like, everybody's going to be trying to find a first gen person. I'm one of them, but I don't think I have any of those left. I know, like, three first gen people that have them. Yeah. Like, that have bulks and bulks of them. One more. Dimension Fusion. Dimension Fusion. We're going to bring that back to one. I think well, it's kind of needed. I just saw a card that I wish would come back, but you're going to say no. If it's the god dang self-destruct button, forget about it. No, 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 it's a spell. Okay, which one? How's your Coliseum? Uh, I'll respect you and have it brought back to one. That's it. We're bringing it back. We're bringing back Kaiser Coliseum to one. Well, just I keep it banned at that point. Dude. I mean, like Nobody the card's so OP, and like I have so many copies of it when I collected Magician's Force. But like, if it's at one, virtually nobody's gonna use it. But it's OP as hell. <laughs> I know. But like, like, that's the same reason, that's the same problem that uh, adding uh, there can be only one, I mean, well, putting there can be only one 
And go to the match at one creative. Oh, I forgot about Summon Sorceress. Like, it's about to get a reprint. Of, like, it's Effect of Radon. So, Summon Sorceress. But we're going to bring this back to two. Because it's effects about to be fixed. Like, okay, everyone. Like, I really don't have any, like, semi-limited stuff for, like, all this. So, I'm gonna, like, obviously export this to Twitter slash X. And just show off, like, my thoughts on what the new adjustments for the ban list should look like. Because, like, I really don't think there's, like, any necessary traps that need to be hit. And hit. Like, any spells, really, that are not already on the ban list that are so out of date or nobody has, like, can come off. But, like, all this, like, I think is the proper, like, bit. All in all. For what needs to change. And... Uh, so, Joey, what do you think? Um, I don't have any help, healthy suggestions. But Just any suggestions, dude. I'm not mentally stable, that's what I'm trying to hit. Not mentally stable to give an accurate, like, feel for this. Okay, fair enough. Well, well, I don't mean accurate. I mean, like, we're going to disagree to disagree sort of thing. Oh. Well, if anything, like, I hope y'all enjoyed this, like, live stream, of course. Like, now I'm just going to export this as PNG. And I'm going to put post this on Twitter slash X as how I think the new ban list is going to do. Like, I know I'm going to hit the Flame Wars on this one. What are Flame Wars? Fla like, this is going to be a Yu-Gi-Oh! Flame War with me because, like, a lot of people are going to disagree with it. How I think... The, you gotta do space block. the YU dash G I dash O H uh the uh N hold on like N E X next Yu Gi Oh Band What N E X T N-E-X-T. -E -E yes, I put that. Okay. N-E-X-T, I put that. Yu-Gi-Oh! Ban L-I-S list S-H-O you should be like. This was done on a LI live ST stream on. Well, y'all know where it's at. But I want to make it quite clear. Stream on C next in T E V. Did you mean to do stream or Steam? Because you have Steam. Oh, stream S T R. Stream command D C M D R commander D. And J O E Joey Rim Bo
Commander Devin Lionheart. I should put with Joey Rimbaud on I'd how do you spell commentary? Uh C O C O M M M M E N T E N T E N T uh huh. What? A R Y. A R Y. Joey Rimbo on side commentary. And now we're going to go to here to media. We're going to go to downloads. We're going to go to custom build. And we're going to post this. All right, how I think the next Yu-Gi-Oh! ban list should be like, this was done on a live stream, with see, live stream on Twitch.tv, see next gen streamings with Commander D, aka Commander Devin, and Joey Rimbo on commentary. On all, like, I'm so glad I did this. Before we call the stream, though, I want to bring up my other channel. Where another 10, like, original videos, old videos are going to be going up to on Seed Next Gen Animations and Comics. Obviously, everyone go over there, go check it out. Really important that you go see, like, some of my old, like, videos and, like, trolling stuff and all that kind of stuff. Like, some of the stuff you can't find anymore or, like, it was on my old computer after putting it on Twitter slash X. And some of the stuff is some of my original works. So, yeah. Go over there. Go check it out. See next gen and animations and comics. This is where you can see, like, some of my older stuff. And newer stuff poured over after, like, after a while it's been on the new channel. Thank y'all so much for showing up. I've been your beloved commander. And on commentary, we have none other than... And we will see y'all in the next one. Of course, next time, hopefully I'll have Joey Rambo's VTuber up and running when he comes back. And I'll find out a way for his, like, VTuber to literally, like, be voice tracked through the software on a live stream. Thank y'all so much. Have a nice morning, day, noon, or night, wherever y'all are. Planet Earth in the Milky Way Galaxy. I am cutting transmission. Oh, the flames are going to be hot tonight.